Hi, today we are learning how to extract your DNA at home with some few household items. Uh, we need salt, cooking salt, we need washing up liquid, detergent, uh, with some liquid soap works too. Uh, we need a cup, I'm using this one, this uh, small beaker so it's clear you can see inside but any cup you can do and something like a toothpick or anything similar even your pen maybe okay so to start with uh, we need to collect some sample of your cells uh, where do we get the cells from so obvious and now not from my finger okay we don't need cutter or any blade anything uh, we are going to collect the samples from inside your inner cheek inside your mouth um, to do so we need lots of saliva and cells from inner cheek. Uh, so we can start by biting your inner cheek. Oh! Not that hard, gentle. Okay, bite here. Move your tongues around to collect all those um, cells. And well, um, I hope that you heard what I said. Uh, if you don't have, if you have a dry mouth, it's not much saliva inside. Maybe you can think about some mouth watering food or some look at some images. For me, it's like looking at this. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. um, keep doing that until you have enough saliva. I'm not going to show it to you. It might be disgusting for you. Well, I can do more. Okay, so after you have enough saliva inside, which is not much for me, but it's okay, um, it's time to get all these DNAs out of the cell. But make sure, okay, mine is okay, but make sure before you do this, you brush your teeth, you kind of, your mouth is clean, you don't want to have some food left over in your, inside your mouth, so instead of getting you, extracting your own DNA, you extracted the, the chicken left in your mouth, or meat, or cows, or any other vegetables for example. So clean mouth, get your saliva out with your inner cheek cells. Um, after that, we need to break down the cell membrane and also the nucleus membrane, the wall of it. So we can get into DNA or release the DNA. To do so, we're going to use a detergent or washing up liquid. So small amount of that, maybe that should be enough for the amount of I have. So mix this. and gently mix them together that should break the cell membrane and release the DNA but DNAs are all over the place now um, to get them all clumped together and having a big chunk of them I'm going to use salt salt would combine them all together and clump them so a small amount of salt that should be enough So give a little bit of time for the soil to act on them. I can already see they start clumping. I don't know if you can see or not. Well, I'll show you at the end. Right, so now we have all these DNAs out of cell membrane. They are so vulnerable. They can get dissolved uh, inside with the salt as well in there. So that's where I'm going to use um, alcohol that I forgot to tell you right at the beginning that you need this. Um, any, any alcohol, to be honest, even alcoholic drinks you can use um, to do this experiment uh, but it better to be a clear one such as vodka but I don't know why you would use vodka for extracting DNA unless you have no better use for it but anyway I'm using the ethyl alcohol that you might remember from my first video that I tasted it, it tastes horrible so I'm just gonna quickly add this alcohol so what alcohol does will stop the DNA to get dissolved inside this solution. So a little bit time, like maybe one, two minutes. Mine, I can see it started forming now. I can see the DNAs are clumped together. Here I'm using the toothpick to, yes. So I'm going to take it out and show it to you. Here is a DNA, my DNA. Oh, 
actually my DNA and all the billions of bacteria living inside my mouth. Okay, it's all together. I hope that you never get your DNA uh, matches with uh, any criminal in the police database.